Welcome back to Booze Briefs. I'm Matt. I'm Derek. And uh, today we've got one that Derek's never had before. Yay! And he's always wanted. It's like Christmas. In I, don't think I, I don't know that I've always wanted it. Forever. Like when I was seven? I talked to your mom and dad, and they said, you know, when Derek first started talking, he yeah. wanted the wild turkey, rare breed, yeah. barrel strike. Hey, sweetie, rye. what do you want? Santa wants to know what you want. Wild turkey, rare breed, rye. Oh, well, that's it. Okay. That's what you get. <laughs> so I'm going to pour you a little bit here, and then we'll we'll talk about it. And you know what else we're going to talk about? How they do this correctly. How it's real a, wood. How it's a real, it's a real cork, but it's a it's a stubby little dude. It's a widow guy. Yeah. It's not about how big it is. It's true. It's about how much it keeps the air It out. was in the pool. That's true. Mm. It did its job. So where did you get this bottle, Matt? Because it is not available around here. No, it's not. So my wife and I, for my birthday, took a trip down to Florida. We went to Tampa, and I walked into a Total Wine, thinking I was walking into Mecca. Like, yeah, I was, I was, I had grand mm-hmm. illusions of being, you know, wowed with E. H. Taylors and Pappies and blah, blah, blah. No, they don't have any of that stuff. Yeah, they had literally like it was like walking into a liquor store here. They had a couple things that were good mm-hmm. that I could have bought, but um, I was like, I don't want to transport that back for a maybe buy. And I'm walking through and I took a picture yeah. and I sent it to you and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get this. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, Mecca, if you're watching this from the Phoenix area, Trevor's Liquors in Scottsdale, I sent you pictures when I went there. Yeah. That place was stupid because they had a wonderful selection and it wasn't jacked up pricing. Like you'll see a lot of people like, oh, they have great stuff, but the E.H. Taylor, you know, regular Taylor, $125. Like, yeah, it's stupid. No, no, no. They had really good stuff at basically the prices I would expect in North Carolina. Yeah. So Total Wine, it was good for this. But I went to another bottle shop uh, liquor store down there because it's not state controlled, which is great. Also, I should have had Trevor's Liquors pay me before I mentioned them again. You should have. Hey. Hey, Trevor. Hit us up. What is my money? <laughs> <laughs> um, went to another place about 15 minutes outside of Tampa called Gas Bars. And I was, this, I was recommended this place by the Whiskey Sommelier at Burns Steakhouse. And he was like, this is where I buy my stuff from. So go check them out. And the Uber driver was like, where are you taking me? And I'm like, just, I don't know, but just just, go. I'm trusting here. And we went and I got some good picks there. So we'll, we're going to review those later. But this one came from mm. Total Wine. I paid 65 bucks for it because uh, I didn't care. I was like, I can't, I literally can't buy this. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm bringing it home. And I mean, the regular rare breed, it's yeah. what, $48, I think. I think so. Yeah, and this one being the barrel strength, I was like, or the barrel proof, I was like, yeah, yeah, great. And I think the regular rare breed is a darn good value at fifty bucks. So sixty, I would pay sixty four mm-hmm. like, before I had tried it. Yeah, I would pay sixty four for it. Oh, God, especially yeah. because it says it's non chill filtered. Like, yeah, give me them delicious little fats in the whiskey. Oh yeah. So their website is so nondescript. Oh, I mean, like that's wild good. turkey. It's it, they give you their products. Mm-hmm. Yeah, congratulations. Here's the name. And yes. Do you, do you want it? <laughs> yeah. Do you, and there's a buy now button. Oh, yeah. So like, their aroma, they're calling it. Mm, okay. Hit, hit me with it. Caramel apple. Caramel apple. Mm. And vanilla. Mm. Sounds complex. And that's that's what it is. Okay. Yes. Uh, their taste, caramel mm. and fruit. Ooh. I like fruit. <laughs> I mean, come the hell on. You produce enough bottles. Give us something. Like well, that. and all fruit tastes the same, right? Like a banana, a strawberry, a mango, Kumquat. and a pear. Yeah. Like they're all the same. Exactly. They do give you, I mean, it's a blend. It, does it say like finish? Good. Finish. Smooth with spice and dried fruit. So Breaking Bourbon did it as well. Sorry, I had to take my glasses off. I know, I know. They actually give the mash bill 51% rye, 37 corn, 12 malted barley. Which is more than their own website gives. You said 51 rye? 51 rye. Okay. Yep. So, again, barely meets the threshold. Just barely making a kiss, uh, yeah? So, their nose, they said it's lemon, green apple, uh, melted caramel, and pie crust. Okay. I don't know, like, pie crust, like, it just smells like butter to me. Yeah. 
but like again, the, the fifty-one rye like barely meeting the threshold reminds me of uh, you know what do you call the person who graduates last in their class at medical school? Uh, a doctor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's it definitely it has that nose of a barrel proof. Like, oh yeah. It's got a lot of for a rye. It's yep. got a lot of whoo behind it. The the texture is good. It just leaves a little little quick. Mm -hmm. I, I would hope it would stay around a little bit longer. And I don't know if it's the, uh, on the bottle here, like you mentioned the top, the design of the bottle just looks really nice and it, it feels like you're getting a premium product. Yeah. Yep. And they give, you know, I mean, it's 56.1%. Yeah. It's also crafted with conviction. Ooh, well, that's good. If you don't craft with conviction, then what the hell are you doing? Well, and there's a distillery that has a product called Courage and Conviction. Well, there you go. So it, it's, uh, it's got to be better than that. Uh, it it also be. adds courage. It does have courage. These people are wimps. But Ooh. but wimp. but wimps with conviction. Wimp. Yes. Uh, yeah, I like this, Matt. This is good. So we've tried the regular Rare Breed Barrel Strength. Yeah. Uh -oh. But the last time we reviewed that, I think it was a dead bottle. At that point. It was a dead bottle, and then we redid it. Oh, that's right. We did. We redid yeah, okay. it. Okay. We've done so many damn reviews at this point. <laughs> yeah. Um, which, by the way, go back and check them out. I think we have uh, over 100. Oh, yeah. We're north of 100. Oh, yeah. It's great. Uh, cracked 15,000 views not too long ago. We have a video with over 2,000 views on it. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you, all of you, for watching that. Yeah, and uh, if you're one of those who have subscribed, thank you. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the button. Because yeah. most of you watching this haven't subscribed, so, so so do it. Appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything. I mean, we got kids to feed. We're not making any money on this, but I mean, it doesn't mean that I don't have a kid to feed. Right. And you got two. So, I, I, yeah, geez. I have kids uh, to feed. Kids uh, <laughs> yeah, plural. <laughs> so, sixty-five bucks. You already said you like it. You buy do. it. Yes. So where does that rank? So should we judge it based on what you paid or what retail is? So I feel like we've mostly judged things on retail, especially some of the allocated items that we've been fortunate enough to get so we were able to find it so if we were able to buy it in north carolina it would be 60 bucks i paid five dollars over in florida, oh my god you got florida man prices you and i got had to, ripped off i had to keister this thing back to north carolina yeah i know sorry i didn't tell you that before we drank it sir actually i put them all in my wife's bag on the airplane so that when it busted it was in her clothes bag Y yes. Okay. Because you mentioned keister, and then you mentioned your wife, and I'm like, no, no, what no. You, what, what, what you do in the privacy of your own home? <laughs> Woof. Yeah. Um. What's interesting is usually rise are in the minority of what we drink on a given day. Mm -hmm. uh, a session of recording. Today we've had a lot of rise. All the rise. So we've had a, uh, several things to compare it to, which I think is probably a fairer comparison for all these rise. Yeah, no, it's it's nice to do those instead of, you know, doing a, a killer bourbon and then like a, a budget and then two rise and then two more killer bourbons. Yeah. Those rise kind of die in the middle. Exactly. And, you know, the fact that we've been able to spread that out and oh, do... Oh, I haven't added water yet. I can't give it a fair grade without water. Barrel strengths. And we've done some, you know, 45 proofs. We've done high rye. We've done 51% rye. You know, it's we've had a we've run the gamut today. Ooh. I'm, I'm glad I added water because it opens up the nose a lot. Yeah? It's uh, the number four char, too. See, I like, I like a good char. Ooh. So, the, uh, yeah... Ooh, that is that is markedly better with water to me. A lot more rye spice. Yeah. That drinks more like that barrel proof. Yeah. That took it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give my score. That took it from an 86 to an 88 for me. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to give it an 89. Let, once again, it doesn't cross that 90 yeah. mark for me, but that's. For something I can't buy around here, to yep. be able to find it, to get a good price on it, if it was seventy, I still would have bought it. If it yeah, was seventy-five, yeah. I probably still would have bought it, because if I was going to pay shipping from someplace, if I was going to do whatever, yep. I'm going to spend more than that. And Wild Turkey makes good shit. They do. They truly do. Everybody like just for Buffalo Trace, but yeah. 
don't forget about turkey. Or do. Or keep forgetting about turkey. Yeah. And I will buy the turkey. Yeah, or if North Carolina can just get their crap together and get this in the state. It's in the system. Yeah. You just can't find it. I think right. maybe one time I've seen it in the store and I didn't know enough about it to go, mm. Yeah. do I? Yep. Do I not? I mean, the, the Wild Turkey 101 rye is delicious. Yep. If you want to... Yep. If you want to, you know, stair step your way to this, get that uh, that Turkey One Hundred and One Rye. It's everywhere, and it's twenty five bucks, and it or is thirty or whatever, and you can buy a handle of it. Yeah. So do that first, yep. and then if you can find this, do it. It's worth it. I'd go eighty nine all day long. I'd buy it again. Yes. Like I said, I'd pay over retail if I was out of state. Yeah. I I think upwards of seventy bucks, fair value for this. Yep. I agree. Not disappointed at all. No. I, I brought it home and opened it, and I'm like, God, I hope this is good. It, oh, it is. Just like the mental stress of packing a bag into yeah. your carry-on, and when you get home, you're like, fingers crossed. Mm-hmm. Does my bag smell like booze? Yes. Is it gone? <laughs> Do I need to now buy new clothes? <laughs> yeah. And this $64 bottle has now cost me 500 Did my airline treat my bag with respect? Like the fragile sticker on it said. Yeah. Because I asked when I checked my bag, I said, do you have like one of those like stickers or like tape or whatever? And she was like, oh, honey, I got you. She took that. She took this fragile tape. And yeah. I got like six miles of fragile tape at my house. I she a did that well. I was like, <laughs> luckily, we had lucked into upgrading to first class really cheap. So it was like, Ooh. we got the priority sticker and we got the fragile. Oh, yeah. like, I, have, I got both of these. They got to treat you with respect. And then she drop kicked it right onto the conveyor and i'm like yep awesome yeah <laughs> awesome yeah I, i've had a priority bag lost <laughs> yeah before, so so where's the priority right uh, for, uh, for first thing i'm doing throwing this in the trash yeah i'm leaving that behind <laughs> my top priority welcome to houston bag <laughs> yeah this is it the miami airport well shout out to miami no no all right shout, shout down well i think uh good good day of drinking Good sounds. Hey. All right, guys. Pour something good in your class. And uh, make sure that you go back and check out the last couple of videos. We've got some fun stuff coming up. We've got some more blinds. we got some more lists. <laughs> we still have so much stuff in both oh of our collections. Oh, my God. We're gonna, what we'll do is we'll update our spreadsheet. And oh, we'll send that out. Good that idea. Was, that was a good idea last time. Yeah. We'll send that out to you because by the time, by the time this airs and what we've got right now, we're going to double our list. I so assume. follow us on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We don't really post shit on Instagram. Yeah. TikTok, we're there a little bit. Eh. Follow us on Facebook. We will put the spreadsheet on Facebook, and you can let us know what on that list do you want to see us review. Yeah. And again, we are a channel for the people, so we will listen. Ooh, you people. <laughs> you. I and see not, you. Not, not you, like, over there, but no, you right there. I see you. You, you beautiful bitch, you. <laughs> Cheers. Until the <laughs> next time. <laughs> we'll see ya. Cheers.